STEM Club Balloon Racers. My name is Eileen and I'm going to be taking you through today's project in just a few minutes. You should have already received your take and make bag here at the library when you signed up for the project and that's going to have everything that you need to complete the project except you are going to need a pair of scissors from home so please make sure to grab those before getting started. And what we're going to be building today is we are going to be building race cars that are operated by blowing into a balloon and that's what will make the car go. So in just a minute I'm going to go over what is in your take and make bag and then I'll show you step by step how to build your race car. Are you ready? Let's jump right in. you see here out on the table is what you should have received in your take and make bag. So you're going to have a piece of cardboard, three straws, four wheels, two axles, also made out of wood, one balloon, and then on the inside of your actual take and make bag, of the plastic bag, you're going to have six pieces of blue painter's tape and that's what we're going to use to help us assemble our car. So please make sure that you have all those materials before you get started. If you don't, Contact the library and let us know and we can get you the extra stuff that you are missing. And now we're gonna go ahead and start with step one of today's project. For step one of the project, we are going to put our base together. So we're gonna use our cardboard and then two of the straws and then our wheels and axles and then some of this tape here. And what we're gonna do, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your um, cardboard is more narrow or thinner than your axle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm laying my axle over my cardboard and it's still a little bit too wide for my own comfort. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut part of this cardboard off um, because we want our wheels to hang off the side um, and have room to hang off the side of our cardboard so that they actually spin. So I cut off a good strip of the cardboard and now I am more confident that my wheels are actually going to be able to turn. So the first thing that we're going to do though is we have to tape our straws, two of our straws, to the cardboard and when we do, after we do that we're going to thread our wooden axles through and then add our wheels. So what we actually have to do is cut the straw um, to be more shorter than the wooden axle. So you want it to be shorter than the axle and you might actually get away with using just one of the straws and cutting it in half. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut my first straw right in half and then I'm gonna lay it out here and tape it to my cardboard. So that's step one. So I'm gonna take part of my blue tape <clears throat> And you can go ahead and use the blue tape however you think it's gonna be easiest for you. I'm gonna go ahead and I ripped off a little piece and I'm gonna put that down just like that and then I'm gonna put a longer piece over the top. So that's what I have it looking like. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for the second piece. I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece of tape, rip a little piece off, put it like that and then put the rest of it like this. Okay, so we are well on our way to building the base of our car. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna thread one of our wooden axles through the straw. And then we can actually attach our wheels, which they're gonna fit really nice and tight in the hole, which is the point, because you don't want them to fall off. So I'm gonna do both ends, and you kinda have to hold the axle on the side and then just push down. Okay, so I have my first set of wheels attached and now I'm gonna do the same thing for the second set. I'm gonna take my wooden axle, I'm gonna thread it through my straw and then I'm gonna attach my wheel on the end. And again, the wheels fit nice and tight, so if you're having trouble getting them on, ask for some help from an adult 
or maybe you have an older sibling in your house that can help you, but definitely ask for help during STEM projects when you need it. Um, okay, so I have both of my sets of wheels ready to go. So we are making quite some good progress here on our project. So that is how we build our base. And in the next step, I'm going to show you how to add the balloon straw on the top that will actually power your race car. Okay, so for the second step of building our car, what you're gonna do is, we just finished adding the wheels, you're gonna flip it over, because this is the side where we're gonna attach the straw that has the balloon on it. Now, you can set that aside for just a few minutes here, because what we're gonna actually work on doing is attaching our balloon to one of our remaining straws. Um, so, what you're gonna do is you're going to take your balloon, you're gonna slide the end of the straw in just a little bit, I would say about, an inch or like the first knuckle on your finger um, and then you're going to secure it with tape and you don't want any air getting out where the tape is at so you're going to just work on adding plenty of your blue painters tape to your straw to get it to hold on to the straw but also to make sure that there's no air escaping and you might need to use two pieces of tape which is okay um, we did give you extra a little bit of extra tape so I went ahead and added one piece, and then I'm definitely going to need a second piece to make sure my balloon does not fly off the end of my straw. So I'm going to take that second piece of tape and just keep twisting it around. You want to make sure it's nice and tight on the end there, which even I'm having some trouble doing. So again, if you need any help from an adult, make sure to ask for help. This is an important part of making sure that our car actually moves properly. So now that I have two whole pieces of tape securing my balloon, I am going to see if I can blow into this end of my straw to blow up my balloon. So hopefully, because science is science and you have to experiment sometimes and adjust, we're gonna hope that this works. So here we go, I'm gonna blow into my balloon. And it looks like I have too much air coming out, so I did a bad job of taping my balloon because I have a hole right there. So now I have to, I'm actually gonna undo my tape because I think this will help me do this so see and again every every person who does these experiments and projects is gonna have some trial and error so right now all I'm gonna do is fix what I think is my problem and you guys are probably gonna get it on the first try but even if you don't just try try again until it works and that's the great thing about science is all we can do is try try again until it works or figure out that might maybe your method doesn't work and try something else. It's the beauty of science. So, again, I'm re-securing. This time I did a better job of making sure the opening to my balloon is covered. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Is it gonna work this time for me? Fingers crossed. Okay, I appreciate everybody's support. Here we go. All right, so we've got our balloon taped on the end, and I think I need a little bit more tape because now I'm paranoid, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more tape on the end here to make sure this part is closed off. Okay, now we're gonna blow into it again and see if I can blow up my balloon. Okay, looks like I still need a little bit more tape here on the end. We'll see if that does the trick. Okay, here we go. Take number three. There we go. Okay, now my balloon can actually 
be blown up by blowing into this free end of our straw. So now we have this part ready to attach to the base of our car. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna want it to hit your straw to hang over this end a little bit so that you have something to put your mouth on to blow into your straw. So I am gonna take my last piece of blue painter's tape and just like how I attach the wheels, I'm gonna secure it that direction and then I'm gonna throw the rest of this tape over in the other direction. And I'm gonna hold on from the bottom and kind of push down from underneath. Okay, so now we technically have a finished balloon racer. So now is the really thrilling part because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow into this end of the straw, I'm gonna blow up my balloon, and then I'm gonna let go and hopefully my car will go. So let's see if it works, here we go. Now, I've pinched off the end here a little bit, but we're gonna let it go and see. <gasps> Look at that, it moves! Before we say goodbye for today, I just wanted to make sure to thank everybody for joining me for today's virtual STEM club balloon racers. Now, as you saw, I had some trial and error in my part of the project in putting my car together, but I hope that you had success in getting your car put together with all the wheels and the axles and then the balloon straw on top as well. So we would love to see any pictures or videos of you completing today's project. And if you don't mind sending those along to the email address on the screen below, we love to see any updates you have on your projects. And the fun part about this project is that if you have two people doing this project at home, then you can see about racing each other and see who wins, or maybe you can even try to see how far you can get your car to move. All right, have all sorts of fun with this month's Virtual STEM Club Balloon Racers project, and we'll see you all again next month for another Virtual STEM Club. Bye for now.